Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another quick Tinkercad project. So let's get cracking. Friends, we are starting on my website, hlmodtech.com. I like to remind you that I have the tab dedicated to Tinkercad. Tons of amazing lessons, and then also down here at the bottom, there is a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button. You can add your question, comment, or suggestion and reach me almost instantly. Now, of course, I'm highlighting that, friends, because once again, a user reached out, Brian, asking how to make an awesome design. Friends, let me show you what I got. All right, everybody, so we're going to start with a finished project. If I hit Tinker This, you will see a fun design. There's a whole video about this. A user asked how to take this design and turn it into this design. They wanted all of these edges to be thicker. But another user said, hey, how did we get the design? Well, this design was bought on Etsy, but I've got a way we can make it. Let me show you how. We're going to start with a brand new 3D design. I'm going to rename it. That's my go-to. This is going to be called a flower because I see a flower in the middle of that. We're going to start with our outside shape. I want you to type soft. When you get the soft box, we're going to make it 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. And then I want it to be 1.5 millimeter high. I'm going to do a wall of 0.2 and press enter. And then I want the outer radius to be zero. Now you notice that little air pop up. Just be patient. Eventually it will show up like it's supposed to. So this is the outside line of that project. Now let's return to the main shapes. I want you to bring out a tube. I want you to take that tube and I want you to type 27.5 and press enter. I want that wall thickness to be 0.2 and press enter. We need to make it as round as we can. And of course, press enter. I'm gonna change that height to one as well. If we select this one and do control D, I'm gonna grab one and move it to the right side. I'm gonna keep the other on the left. I wanna take these two and select them. And I wanna choose a line. And then I am gonna nudge these to the exact spot where they touch each other. So I want them to just barely connect. Perfect. Now I'm going to take those two and I'm going to group them so they're a pair. So I can take that pair and select them and I can align them to the middle of my square. Notice that's going to cut off the edge like the design did a minute ago. If we do control D, I'm going to rotate that 90 degrees and we've just made the four circles. All right, everybody. So now we're going to create the next petal. We're going to do that by grabbing these two. I'm going to tell you to set your nudge at 1, and let's do Control d and Shift-Nudge over here. We are going to make these so it just has the pedal. Check out this trick. Bring out a cylinder, hold down Shift. Because of math I told you to do, we are going to type 55. We are going to make the sides totally round. We are going to make the height 2 and press Enter. If we select these two, make sure you look at it from a corner. We're going to choose a line, and we want to align that part up with this spot right here and this spot right here. So it's middle, middle. We're going to do Control D, Shift Select, once again align, and we're going to pick this one here. I'm going to orbit to an edge so it's real easy to see middle and middle. Now we want to do this process twice, so watch this. I'm going to do Control D, and I'm going to hide it. And I'm going to do Control D, and I'm going to hide it. So those parts will show up in a minute. Now I can click on one and make it a hole. I can hold down Shift and click on the other one and make it a group. Notice it cut that shape right there. I'm going to make that the color pink for a moment just so it stands up. And then I'm going to hit show all so we know which we're playing with. So we don't want the pink one. Hide it. We want the orange one. It has to be a hole. We're going to do shift select and we're going to group. Now when you do show all, we have got a pink and we've got an orange. Those really need to be holes. And are you ready for this? Now when we group all of this, it cuts it out and gives us the perfect pedal. How cool is that? 
Now to line this up, we can just move it over to the edge. Let's do F to fit view. If you set your nudge to 0.1, you can just nudge it to that exact center. And then the way to rotate these is to do it with two of them. So we're going to do Control D, set my nudge back to 1, and I'm going to do Shift Nudge Over, get it close. Now set my nudge to 0.1, and we can just walk it in until those two are perfect. I'm going to make life easier and hide this circle. So now it's real easy to find the one we want. I'm going to hide that too. Let's hide this out here as well. I'll even hide this one. And now I can grab these two, and I simply want to rotate them 45 degrees. If we do show all, you can see that lines up perfect. I'm going to select these again by doing shift and then drag. Control D, rotate them 45 degrees, 90 degrees, bam, you have just made the awesome inside of your shape. How cool is that? The other part of the design was some lines. I'm going to set this back to a 5 millimeter nudge. Let's bring out a cube. Remember we chose 0.2 and then this needs to be 100. If we do a line, I'm going to grab those two pieces and choose a line and this one right here needs to be the boss we need to be that edge and that edge and then remember it was 10 millimeters in so because of that 5 millimeter nudge all I gotta do is 1, 2 make that the right height real quick there's my 2 let's do control D nudge it over to the other edge 1, 2 and it's a good idea to cancel your last one so right there I let click somewhere else and then do shift select and now control D if it had moved it would have recorded the movement but I can just rotate 90 degrees friends I can see a tiny discrepancy in mine for where they're arranged I've got a way to fix that first grab everything in the middle notice I did not touch any of the red pieces or the yellow pieces and we're gonna group those if I do shift nudge you can see that moves I'm gonna do shift nudge to put it back now I'm going to select these red pieces and hide them. Select these red pieces and hide them. And then if I take these two shapes and align them, I want the yellow one to be the boss. So I'm going to choose middle right there, and it already was good that way. So now that looks good. I can bring my other shapes back, and bingo, the project is all aligned. Now friends, we need to cut off these orange pieces. I have got a crazy cool way. Click on your soft box and do control D. Change it to 110 by 110. Make the Z5 so it's going to be a lot taller. I'll let you know right now it's going to be a hole, so I'll let you change that. And then we're going to type 5.4 for this wall thickness. Watch this if we do shift select. So I'm clicking on the yellow piece. I'm making the yellow piece the boss. If we choose middle and middle, and over here, choose middle, it is ready to slice off all of the orange pieces. How slick is that? Friends, let's click the orange, let's hold down shift, click that sweet new cutting tool, and if you group it, your design is completely done. How cool is that now friends if you wanted to have fun with your colors I would recommend ungrouping this and then ungrouping the part we made inside now that it's aligned and then you can just grab the parts you want so like I'm gonna take these and do shift select and shift select and I'm gonna make them a custom blue just because I think blue is pretty cool and then I'm gonna take these once again shift select shift drag shift drag shift drag and I'm gonna make them a really bright pink. And then once again, let's hide those outside parts. Hide, grab these corners and hide. And then find the yellow one. You can double check that you got it here. And now we can grab all this and I could even leave these separate. So if I just grab those two, hold down shift, grab these two. Now I've got four, one more shift select 
and boom it's a little smarter creation because your parts are all separate when you hit the light bulb they all come back all right friends so real quickly i want to thank mark for the original project and i want to thank brian for asking the question when the question was first asked i did not see a way to solve this but after a few minutes of playing i came up with those overlapping shapes and bingo now we have got this fun design added bonus friends because this isn't grouped if you change this to say 0.5 it is totally adjustable. You could play with it, make it whatever you wanted it to be. You can have fun because it's your own custom creation. Of course, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.